so guys this was on my bride's wedding day and i had to put this cake together i had to pull it apart because she didn't like the color she wanted it to be white so let me tell you guys the story of this cake right and this was so heartbreaking putting it apart but i had to do it because it's a wedding and she wants it to be beautiful and i also want my customers to be really happy and enjoy the you know the cakes they order from me okay so story time let's start from the beginning okay so this cake here yeah, i have this really wonderful customer and she ordered her she has ordered several cakes from me before and she even ordered our bridal shower cake and i think engagement cake as well so she ordered, i was kind of expecting it but you know it was really nice and the wonderful thing was she told me to do my thing she told me to do what i want and she told me she wanted it to be white and gold or ivory and gold she was not really sure she said white and gold or ivory and gold so i came up with this idea of doing this wrap cake yeah and let me tell you guys how i did it so i used um the medium i used to wrap it was not fondant it was um like a fabric if you kind of notice it's like it's fabric like and it's very thin it's a mixture of white chocolate and gelatin and i mixed it together and then i spread it thin and then i made every piece of fabric piece by be by piece by piece and this took me a lot of time and then i also add some charms to it to give it like gold and some spray i sprayed some part gold and it was really gorgeous i feel like this um this footage is not really doing a lot of justice because it's not really showing you guys because it's reflecting a lot so you can't really see the design as much as i would have loved you to anyway so when i showed her like she didn't tell me what to do so i wanted to show her the night before so i'll be sure like she loves the cake but when she saw it she was like can i change it from ivory to white initially i was you know you know kind of down but i was like okay no problem and then when i changed it guys it turned out perfect it turned out even better let me show you guys anyways what i said to do was since i'm going to do white and the chocolate and um gelatin medium you can exactly make it white it's just ivory because you know the color of gelatin and the color of the white chocolate kind of mixed together and it's not as bright as white as she would want so i'm doing exactly the same design but this time with fondant and and in pure white right anyways so now i'm just covering my cake i cover the top first and then i'm going to wrap the bottom and this this pattern yeah i like to do it bit by bit i don't like to do it all at once i like to wrap first like like you know cut out some parts wrap and then do that until i get to the top but i cover the top first because that makes like 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 life a lot easier and stuff anyways at this point i was done covering the top and covering the body with fondant i was just adjusting the folds and making it like look nice and seamless and i wanted everything to look intentional and without too much you know cornstarch on it so at this point i'm just going to start try start to make the charms and it was already like because i woke up around like 6 a.m on this day to start because it was like a summer wedding so i wanted to start early and so like everything can be really nice and really perfect this was on the wedding day in the morning guys <laughs> i guess i know i like to live on the edge <laughs>
so anyways at this point i've added the charms and i made the charms with a fondant mold this you know those um really pretty um charm molds they sell i bought it on amazon so i'm just painting it gold at this point and when i'm done painting it gold i'm going to like paint like the top of the gold silver that way it kind of gives it this um platinum look that makes it look like it's not gold it's not silver it's just really nice and really cute <laughs> i don't know if you guys understand what i'm saying anyways i'm just painting away and i was really enjoying myself at this point i thought the cake looked gorgeous i i didn't notice my camera was reflecting so much you guys should have been able to see the cake a lot better but i want you to pay attention to this point where it's not reflecting that much just a little bit yeah you can see how pretty it's turning out it was turning out really beautifully and when i was done painting yeah another thing i did was i sprayed it with some pearl shin so it was really shiny and gorgeous like when i was done with this cake right i sent her a picture no i didn't did i send her a picture no i didn't send her a picture because it was on wedding day and i don't really like to disturb my brides in the mornings because like you know they have other things to think about you don't want them to have to worry about you or what things you're doing so when it was done i boxed it and then we went to deliver it this cake was so gorgeous and the same orchid branch i added to the first one i didn't throw it away so i just attached it to the second one as well and i used a string to attach it like this cake was so gorgeous when i was done guys i was so proud of myself and in fact i felt like initially i was so sad pulling apart the first one because i felt like oh how can she not love this cake it's so pretty but when i was done this was even prettier so like i feel like she was right at the end of the day this cake was so gorgeous sorry for the background sound my partner is watching a movie while i'm doing the voiceover When I was done, yeah, I felt this cake was so gorgeous. I don't like that it's reflecting. And I wish I noticed it was reflecting when I was filming. I would have centered it a little bit more. So you guys can really enjoy the beauty that is this cake. It was so wonderful. Anyway, so at this point, my partner was trying to help me take pictures. And everything looked so perfect and great. So after now, I just went to take a bath. And then I dressed up. And then I went for delivery. Oh, but before then, I had to, you know, pack up all the mess I made. Because, you know, cleaning is just as important as making the cake. Because you want to make sure everywhere is clean. And your customers are comfortable with, you know, your level of cleanliness. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys. Thank you so much for always watching my videos. And if you haven't followed or subscribed please subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions or if you have any contributions which cake do you think was the prettiest the first or the second because i really 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 enjoyed making it anyways thank you guys so much and i will see you in my next video bye